Welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a hybrid and a highly sought after hybrid and the very definition of a unicorn, something extremely hard to get hold of and yet in extremely high demand and that is the Hellfire Hybrid V2. Uh, now this is the 18350, you could get an 18500 upon request, uh, this is the stainless steel version but you could also get a, a bronze tube version at request as well. Um, and this is the uh, the hybrid, it has the Micro Mega on the top. Now I'm sure the majority of you are aware of the Micro Mega, it's a, it's a great Genesis atomizer um, and is sold as a standalone atomizer as well at about 158 quid uh, and you see them come up from time to time in the classifieds um, of whatever forum you're using, be it Vape Pit, U, uh, UK Vapors, uh, Hem and so forth. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, V2 Hellfire Hybrid um, and I mean it's a stunning, stunning little piece. Um, you know, it's I'm a bit besotted by it really because I've heard so many good things about them and so many people wanting them and so many people trying to get their hands on them and that and they're very, very sort of rare. I mean I'm seeing more and more of them coming about now, the more sort of forums I'm a member to, the more sort of people I'm speaking to and uh, everybody's all about the Hellfire Hybrid if you're that sort of la da vapor. You know, uh, some people have more than one and that's just greedy. Um, but you know, that's the, the way of the world, isn't it? If you want it, you've got to go and get it. You've got to fight for it. But um, yeah, I mean, this is it's a stunning, a stunning hybrid. You know, I mean, the switch on it is extremely nice. It does use a spring, not magnets. Um, you do have an adjustment on the throw on the switch. Um, and it's got the, like I said, the micro mega on the top, which is a, a, an extremely cool uh, atomizer and works really well. Now, there is an option as well to get a hybrid dripper um, onto the top of this. Um, I think it might even be the new UFO dripper um, that Hellfire is doing, which I've got coming up for review. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's very hard to find out much information on this. There's uh, been no real reviews out on, on it and um, no real information released. You know, even if you go onto the website, which is Hellfire Atty Smith, there's just basically a picture of one of these and no details whatsoever except for the £396 price tag. £396. £396. Yes, you heard that. For a, for a hybrid um, atomizer and uh, mod, really, uh, that's an awful lot of money. Is it worth the money? You know, is it worth £400 of your hard earned cash? I don't know, but all I do know is it's a great little device and it's uh, absolutely beauty to look, uh, beautiful to look at. The finish on it alone, I mean it's also almost got that satin look, I know it's brushed, but it almost has that sort of satin look to it, which is, uh, I mean I'm really taken back by the finish on this, it's been exceedingly well done. Um, now before I go into my main thoughts and how it works and blah 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 blah, let's go down to the table, I'll show you it up close, I'll show you under the top cap, I do have a U-wick in this at the moment with a micro coil uh, coming out at 1 ohm, I'm not going to be re-wicking it on camera because I've, it's perfect as it is at the moment and I'm not going to fuck about with it, but I'll show you underneath the uh, very sort of simplistic looking deck under the top cap as well, um, show you the actual tube, show you the switch and then come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Safe. So here is the Hellfire Hybrid V2. This is the full stainless steel 18350 version. Upon request, I do believe you will be able to get a, a bronze 18350 or a bronze 18500 tube as well. This is the Micro Mega that it has on top. You can actually uh, purchase the Micro Mega separately. And obviously it has a 510 connection for other mods rather than 21 over 1 threading uh, for the hybrid connection that this one has for this mod. On the tube you'll see we have Hellfire nice and deeply engraved on the centre there. You also have your venting holes around the bottom of the mod which are these nice sort of angled cutouts as well nice and deep and thick and you can even see the colour of your battery inside which I think is uh, really nice. Let's take the Atti off, 
and there you see you have your 20 over 1 threading you also have a brass connection at the bottom which you can adjust obviously for your battery rattle under the top cap you'll see you have a reduced chamber there and there you have your deck which uh, is a nice and simple deck as well it's not busy at all like the rocket or anything like that it's uh, pretty simple you have your two holes for wicking if you want to use a, a u-wick or a, a single hole um, or a single wick or a um, dual wicking but you only get one air hole um, which is a one mil air hole cut into the top cap there your center post obviously and your uh, two terminals as well and currently uh, you've got your fill hole at the back Currently I've got that U-Wick in here with a micro coil. Put this on. I see it makes a, a good amount of vapour as well and I love the sound of it as well. That crackle is really nice. And a bit of a hot spot there running out of juice. Let's put my top cap back on. Let's take a look at the switch itself. The switch has a uh, brass connection nut there at the bottom. A stainless steel switch. Really nice push as well. It's not too light, not too heavy. It's just about right. And you do have this little indent cut out there. So for your finger to rest. You do have a, a little adjustment here for your throw. And also to get inside to clean your switch just unscrew that see your spring there and you'll see your connection on the top there as well a little bit grindy on those threads but a little bit of maintenance a little bit of cleaning get rid of that the threads themselves are really nice for the hybrid it's very sort of thick material as well it feels really nice it looks the part as well, absolutely stunning, and you do get a great, great flavour from it. And it sounds a treat as well. So there you have the Hellfire Hybrid V2. So, yep, there you go. There's the Hellfire Hybrid V2 up close, and uh, what a stunning, stunning little device it is. Uh, just going to take a quick blast now. The crackle it makes is, is is great. I mean, I love the sound when vaping this. It really does sort of complement the name Hellfire as well. Just take another little blast. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you saw it there. So, essentially, I mean, the majority of you watching or, you know, it's got the Micro Omega on the top and probably a lot of you have owned one or um, have, have used one. And it's a very efficient atomizer. It's a, a really great Genesis atomizer on the top. And it looks really badass as well. You know, you get your glass tank. You do have an option of a steel tank as well as an extra. Um, the, the deck on the Hellfires are always great, you know, they're not busy, they're not over complicated, you know, there's a lot less going on than say like the RSM Rocket or the new Rocket Hybrid, uh, the RSM Hybrid that's going on. It's very simple, you know, you have your two terminals, your two negative posts, you have your uh, positive centre post and uh, basically a fill hole and uh, that's job done, you know. Um, you can use a single wick on it or use a yule wick as well. You get a one mil air hole um, as standard in this, which is plenty enough for a Genesis atomizer. Um, you do have an adjustable brass post um, on the bottom of the micro mega section here um, to adjust for your different varying batteries. You also get a throw adjustment and adjustment on the bottom of the switch as well. Um, you know, it's, it's 20 over 1 threading, so there are a variety of things you could probably try and test out to see if you can get it to work, like putting a Challenger top cap on or something like that. I have tried it. Um, it doesn't make connection with the batteries as well, so that's a bit of a bugger. But I mean, this was designed to use as it is like that, and why would you want to sort of be blasphemous and uh, try to uh, Frankenstein it up with something else you know if you do have a V2 Hellfire Hybrid that's all it's going to stay uh, you know you don't really want to fuck about with it the button is really nice to push even you know with your spring in there as well it's really sort of got that nice firm push you do have that little cutout on the switch as well for your pinky um, which does feel quite comfortable although I, I, I end up avoiding that really and just giving it a I use me fuck off finger a lot to sort of blast through my uh, my switches
but um, you know not too much huge amount of information on this like I said um, on the website there's very limited amount of information very limited amount of information on uh, vape pit as well where the majority of these lists go up you know uh, of what sort of steel it's made from etc 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 there is very limited information um, but all I can tell you is it's a cracking device and uh, it's really nice, do you know what I mean? It's uh, it's uh, this isn't actually mine. I borrowed this. I got to send it back, which is an absolute bastard. But uh, there you go. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's one of them things. Um, you do have venting in the tube at the bottom as well for your batteries, and which is kind of cool as well. It's got that sort of slope, and you can actually see the red through of your, the colour of your battery. You know, so uh, that's a uh, quite a really nice. Nice sort of touch, a bit strange, but I like the look of it. You know, um, really nice engraving of Hellfire down the centre of the tube. You know, so what can you say? You know, um, you can actually buy the Micro Mega separate with a 510 connection, obviously, to um, uh, to screw into you, the majority of your your uh, mods. Um, the, the atomizer on its own comes to about 158 pounds on the website. You know, so if this is 396 pounds, you know, you're paying. 200 odd 40 quid just for this tube bit which is just fucking ridiculous i mean it is ridiculous it's a huge amount of money um for for something like this but i mean in all theory uh, you wouldn't need anything else uh, but you know if you're like me and a collector and the majority of vapors are it's a it's a hell of a lot out of your vape budget but there you go, that's the Hellfire Hybrid V2. Uh, beautiful looking, really well presented, great switch, uh, micro mega on the top, you know. You can also be getting the dripper hybrids for these. Uh, it's gonna be an extra cost, so you're probably nearly talking a monkey when you've uh, got it all set up how you want it with the dripper and the um, and the micro mega on the top, but there you go, there it is. Thank you very much for watching this review and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.